Love when you guys reach out on social media. That's exactly what Double Blue Jay did on Instagram. I think it was yesterday, maybe it was two days ago. Uh, Double Blue Jay said this, and uh, he talking about all the heat and the humidity and the feels like temperatures. He said, why is it when they say it's 97 outside, but it feels like 108? When I put my oven to 350, and I put a thermometer in there and it says 350, I don't say it feels like 361. <laughs> it's 350, WTF. A lot of uh, question marks. Uh, it feels like 108. Why isn't the temperature just 108 degrees? Go on to say, Grant Gilmore. Can you help me out, sir? You better believe I can. If you've got a minute, let's talk about the difference between the actual temperature and what it feels like. Let's talk about the temperature first. When we measure the temperature, we're measuring the internal energy that a substance contains. So it's a physical property of that substance. So it's all that energy bouncing around. The hotter the temperature, the more those little atoms are bouncing around in that substance. So when you set your thermometer to 300 or your oven to 350 degrees and you measure that temperature, the thermometer will measure the physical amount of heat that that substance, air or maybe your food, contains. So that's temperature. The feels like temperature is a measure of how hot it really feels for a human not your food, not your baked chicken, when there's a relative humidity factored into the equation. Yes, there is an equation to try to estimate what that apparent temperature is. Now, sweat is able to cool us through evaporation. The process of going from a liquid to a gas, that evaporative process, that is a cooling process. That's why the body sweats. So when there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, it is harder for the sweat on your skin to evaporate, which means it's harder for your body to cool itself. So as a result, if your body can't cool like it normally would, a cooler temperature will have the same effect on your body as if it were actually hotter, and that's why it feels hotter. That's why it's an apparent temperature as opposed to what the temperature actually is.